Well, finally updating my firmware on my drone, so hopefully later today I'll get it out and try it out again. It's been a while. Good afternoon, everybody. It is Saturday afternoon, and I have no idea where I'm going right now. I just felt the need to get out and go somewhere where there is ocean. So, one of the reasons I am out here today is because when I was at the house, I was getting very agitated, angry, ended up punching a wall. So, I needed to leave, I needed to get out. And so far, this is helping. I guess I need to get out here more often. Good morning, happy Sunday, made it this far. Got to have my first sip of coffee. I couldn't start talking without it. I prematurely got my coffee ready and I uh, was busy getting the camera set up and just never had my sip yet. So I'm gonna have two. I know I said I wasn't going to do any more of these ketamine videos, but I've had a few people reach out on social media, especially through Facebook, who are legitimately curious and interested in the treatment I'm going through because some of them, I'm guessing, they might be looking for themselves personally because they've probably reached wit's end when it comes to traditional treatment methods. So I think that's a possibility. And the other possibility is people are just seriously concerned about my health and how this is gonna benefit me in the future. So anyway, for whatever reason, I decided to film another video. And I probably will keep doing it, even if, uh, even if they're boring. <laughs> One of the most common questions I get is, how are you feeling now? And I know the question is a legitimate question and people are just being compassionate and kind and are seriously wanting to know how I'm doing and see if I'm making any progress. But uh, one of the things that people had to remember is it takes more than just one session and it could take many sessions. For example, I'm starting week four tomorrow. So that'll be my seventh session tomorrow. And after that, I have another one on Thursday, and then I go to weekly sessions. It could be another month yet before I notice any difference. It's hard to say, and it's, uh, and it's, uh, it's frustrating not to have the answers, because it's nice to know that, hey, at the end of all this, I'm going to be feeling a bit better and in the mood to do things that I used to push aside. Maybe I'll write a poem again. Who knows, right? So aside from appeasing people's curiosities, I also do this because I think, and I'm pretty confident in this assumption, or this thought, is that there's a lot of people out there who are suffering big time from depression. And I'm sure there's many others out there like me who you've tried different types of medications, you tried in-house therapy, you tried electroconvulsive therapy. You tried countless things, countless different medication changes. And at the end of the day, it still doesn't seem to be working. For some reason whatsoever, we're treatment resistant. So knowing that I have friends out there who fall in that same category as me, that's another reason I'm going to keep uh, 
keep filming my progress and, uh, and making little videos like this. Uh, the, only th the only thing I'm concerned about, and is one of the reasons I was going to stop, is, well, what if it doesn't work for me? What then? What then? I have all these people who followed me with hopes of finding a cure for themselves or a way out of their own depressive mindsets and then to be watching me and it's like shit Jason failed he didn't do it or he didn't make it through and I hope that's not what they get out of it I hope that right from the beginning they understand that it doesn't work for everybody but it has a very high efficiency rate it has a high success rate so if I don't succeed doesn't mean you won't okay just keep that in the back of your mind because I don't want my results to determine your future uh, medical treatment okay so please 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 do that okay for me at least so on that note I am going to go finish this coffee because uh, that enough that's enough talking for one day for me So, yesterday I made a boo-boo. I, uh, I was in a bad mood. I was irritated and frustrated. And I ended up punching my wall and broke my receptacle. The stupid things you do when you're, when you're in, in, a, in the wrong frame of mind. If you look close, you can see the cracks in it and the tape. I got laid over it as a temporary fix. Yeah, stupid, stupid, stupid. And do you know what my punishment is going to be? Because I know it, it's going out in public, having to shop around for a little plate for a light switch. Things you do, right? Anyway, that's it. It's done. Can't do anything about it now. Just hope it doesn't happen again. Well, Houston, I have a problem. I'm trying to reorder my cannabis oil that I use at night. And it's coming soon, which means they're out of stock. And I just finished my last bottle. I have other stuff that can work. It's just not as potent, so I guess I'll just have to take a little extra. Oh well, I'll survive. Was going to go outside today, but the snow was picking up. We're supposed to get about 20 centimeters today. This is a rocking chair that my father built me a few years ago. Yeah, I don't know who I'm kidding. There's no way I'm getting any reading done right now. I think I'm just gonna go to the shed. Come on, join me. 
Beautiful snow fall. I wish it would screw off though, because I'm not in the mood to clear it tomorrow. <laughs> so this is my shed. Very basic. I just have enough room for one chair for me. But I also have heat. A little infrared heater right above me. Makes me feel like I'm in some kind of Florida beach somewhere. Some exotic location. And you know I mean business when I bring out my speaker. My fancy ashtray. It's like doubles as a puppet or a robot. Take me to your leader. <laughs> this afternoon's session is brought to you by Viola Lucy's. They're a sativa strain. Very, very light though. It's not a very strong strain. These joints were specifically designed for left-handed people, right? Lefty Lucy? <laughs> Sorry. Enough with the dad jokes. Yeah, whenever you videotape yourself smoking a joint, you have to do that gratuitous, gratuitous blow into the camera. Supposed to be discreet, but letting you in on my uh, cinematic uh, techniques, my little secrets. The flurry's only just started and you can hear snow blowers already. Like, come on, people. So, this is my little getaway spot whenever I need it. It's uh, one of those uh, break in case of emergency situations. And when I'm in around the house, sometimes things get a little bit chaotic for me. They get a bit too overstimulating. And that's what happened today because I came out, I medicated with the intention of going in and doing some writing and some reading. And for me to do that, I need to have this the proper thought process, but I need to have the proper environment as well. And uh, to no fault of anybody living in the household, just as I was about to start writing, my son came home from school early, which kind of put a damper on that. So then I was like, all right, I'll, I'll shut that down and I'll start reading. And literally, as soon as I opened the book, my wife came back from a walk with the dog. So I'm left scrambling for something to do to, uh, to get my mind occupied. So this is it. This is what I do now. I come out here, I'll regroup and regather my thoughts and uh, hang out in the shed, listen to some music once I turn off the camera, maybe even do some meditation while I'm out here, which is one of the things I really enjoy doing when I'm out in my shed. It's not all about smoking this, but this helps get things spinning. It gets the wheels turning, it gets things in motion. So I'm gonna go listen to some music.
These are very tasty, by the way. 